Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta, and today we are at Harry's Seafood Grill with one of our favorite chefs that's always on our show and so happy to have you on our show, Executive Chef Dave Banks. Welcome back. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me back. I appreciate so it. So here at Harry's Seafood Grill, you have a lobster tank, and we are going to attack those lobsters, pull them out, and make something good, right? We, we are. We, we've done... We've done the attacking and the pulling and the cooking. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a little twist on the lobster. We're going to make it into a martini, basically a, a, an appetizer or a cocktail. Okay. Uh, into a martini. Lobster martini with a twist. With a twist. And we're going to put a sabillon with it with chili peppers, and we're going to play some avocado in it. And, All right. And get cooking on that one because we've got a little bit of work to do. We're going to make a sabillon. And, and, and that takes some time. It does, and it's not as daunting as it sounds, so we're going to... Let's do it. Be good for our viewers to see. Yeah. Let's this get going. This is the only ingredient we're using in this whole dish. That is no, that, I don't believe that. That and a lobster. <laughs> that's, that's all we've got. All right. So let's do this thing. Uh, starting out for the sabillon, mm -hmm. we're going to do the egg yolks. Let me get on this side of you here. You, where are we? Here? Yep. Wherever you want. All right. All right. I just need the yolk. Okay. So you basically cook yolk with a little bit of vermouth, and we're going to put some chili pepper in it. Mm. So separate the yolks, don't use your fingers, it's okay. Uh, you push off and get that uh, chalitza off of there, and then you're, you're good. Separate the yolks, we know how to do that. Yep. A little touch of vermouth. This is about a teaspoon or so? Uh, yeah, about that, I guess. And a little bit of the chili pepper. If you can't find chili pepper, could you use something spicier, like it, a Thai chili or a you're gonna, uh, yeah, serrano? Uh, in anything you want, any kind of hot pepper that you want and that works out just fine if you uh you would color it if you use a powder like a uh, cayenne or a crushed red you might color it and that, that would be okay too if that's what you wanted it to look like so we're going to put those in a little bit later we're going to start and this is just making the sabillon All over right. boiling water so you could do this on a double boiler, or if not, you do this easy setup, ready to go. Yeah, so we're right on the double boiler right there, and this will start to get ribbony thick. Careful not to uh, uh, scramble it. With this amount, I just turn the heat off at that point, because okay. you can see Starting that to foam up. it's just trying to scramble right there. We're not oh. going to let it scramble. So it, the key here is to really watch the heat. The it key here stirring. is stay in control. Then basically stay in control, yeah. So, you know, pull it off, put it back on. You don't have to whip it to death. You're not really working real hard, so you're, you're kind of easy on it, as long as you don't scramble it. And at this point... It looks so light and fluffy right now. And then we're going to get it a little bit more ribbony, don't you move. It's so very similar to how you would make a hollandaise as well, right? Correct. Starting just, with the egg yolks. And yeah, and the, the, what we're going to do is we're going to fold some heavy cream that we're going to whip. So drop that cream right into that bowl. You can whip that up. This is okay. continued to cook and it's getting a little bit ribbony. Oh, it's yeah. not foamy anymore. It means it's cooking and it's soft. So why are we on the ice here? Chef? Well, to keep it cold and it whips up faster. Um, just a little bit of salt right there. And then, you know, as so I put the chili pepper in and that'll, that'll, uh, infuse and get a little spice to this to this dish you know me well because I love my spice so the savvy on there we're gonna take this I'm gonna get aggressive with it for a minute okay all you have to do is tell me well <laughs> I, I, what to be aggressive yeah all right I should have said it like that man. <laughs> I like your technique though this is good Wait. good for me to say yeah Wait. It's all in the wrist. Yours is a little bit more messy than mine, but that's okay. Uh, I like to splat it around. <laughs> and this sabillon, once we get it done, and we're not going to waste too much more time with it. If I had a this bigger guy bowl, here. Yeah, we're going to work with that. We're going to work with a little deviled egg mixture, which is kind of interesting on this. And 
There we go. We're about to a soft peak. We're still a little runny. That's a good workout, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got some triceps going on in there. Yeah, you got Biceps. Some. And if I had a bigger bowl, it would go a little bit faster, but we're playing a little petite here. Uh, but anyway, here we go. We're close. Oh, I can see the consistency changing already. Yeah, it just got to the point. All right, so you're... It's amazing. You're a medium peak. See that in the camera? So we don't want it, like I said, you don't want to be a hard peak because it will break when it folds in. So you can see the consistency of the egg yolk. Yep. Right? And then we're going to take the cream. Fold the cream and Fold the cream into the egg to make the sevillon. Stay tuned for more from Harry's Seafood Grill. We're back with Chef Dave Banks of Harry's Seafood Grill. So we're putting it all in there. All right, yep, yeah, because we measured it. Okay. And we're going to set this. right back in the ice there. And we've made one, in case this doesn't set up in time, we've made one. Okay. Here, it's the same thing. Yeah. But let's let that sit just like that, it's fine. How and long do you have to actually leave it to let it set up? Uh, you know, if I'm in a refrigerator, I don't know, a couple hours, an hour, overnight, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It just builds in flavor. Uh, overnight, it'll separate a little bit. Maybe some liquid goes to the bottom, but the top uh, will, will come off. The, okay. um, we're gonna do a little bit so of work. So you can make it a day ahead, which is yeah, great. Yeah, you can, you can. We're gonna do a little bit of work with this main lobster. I uh, remember the lobster game and we don't, uh, there's no real gentle way. I know. To do. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. I know. No, I know. Okay. There's no gentle way to do it. He's so, so good though. So we know. just, we take the tail off. We're gonna work with a claw. He's coming apart easily. Yeah, he's he's okay. And how long do you boil them for to get them to the right consistency that you're looking for? We we take a gentle approach to it in our in our. Uh, well, to answer your question, I don't know, ten minutes, eight to ten minutes on a nice slow boil, mm -hmm. and that works out pretty good. For and lobster this size. Which lobster is about that size. What, one and a half pound. This is was a one and a half pounder, and we're just going to wash off. You know, just to get that little bit of discoloration off of it, we're gonna work this uh, this claw out. We're just gonna use the claw for this tip and technique. You pull that claw off, tap it down a little bit. That releases that piece out of there. Oh, really? Yeah, just give her a little tap. Sometimes you, nobody even really knows you just kind of do it and they think you're just kind of doing it, but there is a, <laughs> there is a purpose to that. Your little tick? Yeah, you just, yeah. Right. It's, it's actually it's a, a tip. It's actually something for a reason. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the lobster. We're going to put that into a little bowl. Okay. See a little bowl up there, that empty one? And then that'll be part of our mixture for the martini itself. I can't then wait to see this presentation. We're going to make, it's just a martini glass. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's fancy. All right, so we worked that out tail out. We're going to work this claw a little bit. I crack it here. Then I crack it here. One then on I, each side and then... Then I break it there and hopefully Boom. if I'm friendly Got it. enough... There you I go. Can, I can remove that shell and then this one comes sliding out nice and gentle. That. And then, oh, the, meat, and then the meat comes out. We take that off. I'm just going to have a little water here. And we're just going to wash that off just a little bit. What is that part of the lobster actually called that you get that's kind of that soft texture? and? Um, um, yeah, I don't know. It's what, edible, right? Oh, but, sure, sure. It's And I'm not, this one's showing a little bit more of it, but it just wipes away. I guess that's the... Uh, I'm not sure what you call that. Yeah. In fact, I'm not sure if I want to know what you call that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's where we are with that one. All right. So we're going to leave that. that. We're going to leave that that claw hole. We're going to take the meat, take it out. You're going to leave it whole and put it in the dish? No, I'm going to. Chop it's it going to be diced up. And this little front piece, I'm going to make real small. And then this piece here. How many lobsters do you typically serve a week here at Harry's Seafood Grill? 
in, in all of our applications, Maria, I'm buying in seven to 800 pounds of lobster a week. Wow. To a thousand wow. a week here, just at this location. And then at the Savoy Grill, we have a, another five, 600 pounds. Uh, we get direct from Maine. Uh, we have a, a, a hookup at the uh, uh, Greenhead Point Lobster Co-op in Stonington. And so we get our lobsters direct down here by common courier, never touches the middleman. And uh, we, we call, I call them, they put it on a truck, they bring it on down the next morning, and uh, that's how we do our thing here. Wow. So, yeah, got up to That's 2000. a lot of lobsters yeah, going and through. But I that's, noticed it's, it's, it's throughout your menu. That's so real, yeah. If I came to the restaurant and wanted to pick out my lobster, can you do that too? You can. You could walk right up to our, 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 our tank there and spot the one you want and say, that's the one I want. Yeah. And He's moving a lot. That. I want him. <laughs> that, that's right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and make this little deviled egg mixture. All right. Which is, uh, we've got some hard-boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. And you go ahead and cut a, two of those in half. And we're just going to use the yolk. All right. So just drop the yolk into just that. Just the yolk, all right. Yep, so just drop it right on in. You know, I make um, deviled eggs at home yeah. with um, hummus. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. And a red pepper hummus sometimes, so it oh. really looks pretty. I kind of like that, and then it, it's a, it adds a little bit of a lighter touch to it, you know, mm -hmm. rather than all the, the mayo and the heavy cream. That oh, now I messed up, so I'm gonna put mayo and, and all that in. That's mine. okay. <laughs> That's what I'm I'm expecting okay. you to do. We're we're fork mashing a little bit. That right. we're gonna put a little bit of dry mustard. A little bit of salt, figure out how to do this. Stay tuned for more lobster with a twist from Harry Seafood Grill. We're back with more from Harry Seafood Grill. Okay, so we're there. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, uh, flavor into that. Ooh, is that cilantro? This is cilantro and that's gonna go throughout our dish uh, but we're going to pop a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little bit of this vermouth? vermouth that was in our sabillon. I'm going to put it in there as well. Go ahead with that. I'm going to take just a little pinch of chive into that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mix that up. I'm going to take just a little bit of cilantro. Now the ballroom um, that you have as part of the hospitality group is excellent for weddings and big events, correct? Yeah, corporate dining, weddings, bar, bat mitzvahs, it works really well. We've got a, a several different rooms. We can do real intimate uh, wine dinners and, and, and charity events, large enough to do charity events. And we're, we're very versatile there, which is really, really uh, beneficial to us. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little bit. You had a big uh, SLS dinner, right? We had a uh, SOS dinner. The SOS 20, dinner. Yeah, me. share our strength. And uh, we, we, we did our 26th year, and we hit a mark of a $1 million raised <gasps> over those 26 That's years. That's fantastic. So that was a great event, and we, uh, we've done it. And that helps to end childhood hunger. That's the, uh, that's the goal of that particular charity. So we, uh, that's really nice that right. you give back like that. Well, thanks. It's, uh, it's important to us. It's what we... Uh, what we think is right. So we need to test just it taste out. it. That is good. Mm. All right. Well, it's got enough tasty. salt. Yeah. I think just for me, a little bit more of the onion flavor might might yeah. be nice in that. Oh, that's good. Nice right. and creamy. Oh. So okay. here's here's where we are with the. Um, you know what it thinks? I think I honestly think I need a little more dry mustard. It needs to get a little a uh, little uh, character to it. Okay. In my opinion, just a little bit of character. Here we go, there. character. There you go, character, right? So now we've got, all right, you've, you've done enough there. I like to watch you work, but I'm, you're wearing me out. I don't mind. And there you go. So that's a little bit of picked cilantro. Just de-stemming here, right? Just de-stemming, just the whole leaves. The whole leaves are good. And we're going to take a little bit of whole leaf 
sprouts, just the front of that sprout. That's a pea shoot, a snow pea shoot. Mm. Okay. They have a little sweetness to them, which is yeah, nice. They do. For a green. We're going to take a little bit onto our lobster. We'll take a little bit of lemon. All right. And drop this into it, just a little bit of it. And then if you would just roll that, roll that around a little bit, I put a little salt on it. All right. We're going to open up an avocado. These are great chunks of lobster meat. Yeah. And this so, is what you want to get when you order lobster, right? Right, right, right. That's right. There's no, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's tender, it's not a garnish, right? No. It's like caviar and foie gras, not a garnish. So this is a, you, you make this as an appetizer for this the is, this is restaurant? This is an appetizer for the restaurant. Okay, so there was a... It's a lot of lobster meat for an appetizer. Well, That's maybe we great. make more than one. I mean, this is... Making no, the, uh, I'm happy with this. I just want this... For no, my for, portion. forget it. I'm cutting that portion down. It's, you're right. It's too big. <laughs> no. I have to charge too much money for it. We're just going to make little dices of this mm -hmm. right in the shell. Just cut it open. All right. I'm going to watch how you get the... And then... How do you get the uh, shell take, off easily? You just Well, I just out. use a spoon. Okay. So we've got the spoon, and there now that's already diced. And, and then the we're just going to... Drop it right into there, let it fall apart. There's quite some time where I did not like avocado, and really? now I'm just addicted to it. It's uh, it's interesting. Uh, you know, I, I find it really nice. It's unfortunately uh, really fatty, but good fat. Yes, it's healthy but fat. It's healthy fat, but it's, it's fat. But it's uh, if you're trying to stay lean, this is a guilty pleasure that you that you work with. Well, it'll be different if you're serving avocado with bacon, but we've got lobster here, so it's perfect. <laughs> Stay tuned for more with Chef Dave Banks. We're back with more of Lobster with a Twist from Harry's Seafood Grill. This is something that we're going to use again, I think, on the top. So a martini glass or two right there. All right. Set them on that. This. We've so got now, this. would you serve this dish with a pairing of a martini cocktail, or would you go wine? I would go wine with this. Okay, I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, I would Being go wine with this. Being a sommelier, I'm like, so, really love my wine, especially with lobster and fish. There's so many great choices out there. The um, This is the Sabillon. It, yeah. What we made in the show, we'll see, didn't quite firm up quite enough. But so it's I, close. It's close. It, it just look in, that far in the, off in the ten minutes. Might need to uh, be mixed a little bit. No, I don't want to mix oh, it because mix that it. would that would defeat our purpose. So we put a little sabillon down. The purpose is that it doesn't the lobster doesn't completely fall into it. It gets a little bit of a layered effect. So again, cilantro, avocado. Lobster. You know what? Let me just take that one out of the game. All right. We'll just and, do one. And we're just going to do one, which is going to be exciting and abundant here. So we're laying it right on. Oh, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop that in like that. It's so much better, too, than seeing it on, say, a wad of lettuce or something a like wad, that. You know? A wad. A wad of, of, lettuce. of lettuce. I like that. Wad. <laughs> But I feel that's, like... That's hilarious. Do you know how many restaurants would take that shortcut, though, and just put that at the bottom what? to set, you know? Well, man, I, I might have done that before, so don't make it sound so bad. <laughs> but but the wad thing, that was pretty interesting. Um, we're going to take a little chili pepper there, right? We're going to take this quenelle of Quenelle, for salad. most people, which they may not know, is a just a It's just spoonful. like the... Yeah, spoon... And, and you just cut. work the spoon like this and do an oval, almost like a football. Some people will say we're making a football. Yeah. So that's really a canal. So that is... That is our lobster martini. That's the lobster martini with, with the deviled egg with a twist. Love it. And the sabillon. I can't wait yeah. to taste this. So, Chef, this is a lovely pairing that we have set up here. So I see that we have the Edelsheim Willamette Valley, which is from Oregon. Rosé. And rosés are hot rose right are now. Hot, right. Really yeah. hot right now. And mm -hmm. anyone who thinks that rosé is sweet, this is a nice, 
dry, beautiful, crisp rosé. And this is a, this is a Pinot Noir grape. 100% Pinot Noir, which grows very well in Oregon. Mm. Mm. Smells like strawberries. It does. Mm. Wow. Nice body because of the Pinot Noir grape. Um, now, this particular with the with the avocado and the richest in the lobster. And I, this is one this of, is what, a, 50 glasses of wine that you have here on the menu? Because you have an extensive we, list. We do. We do. That's one of 50 some odd. Some odd. That's and, fantastic. And this one. Talk about that. Okay. So this because is that's the Vincent the one I think works Delacorte. Really well this. And this is a Sancerre um, Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley of France. And this is absolutely mm. going to pair perfect with your mm, dish, yes. I think, because the lobster and the freshness of that, but the avocado and the creaminess of this, and this has some nice acidity. It's going to yep. push right through that. Mm. Mm. That'll work. That is so good. That'll work. That Definitely. is so good, Chef. Have Let's dig in. Have a bite. And then we can... Well, it's, it's chock full of fresh lobster. Okay. Which is... Lots I'm of fresh not, lobster. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm getting a little bit of everything in okay, here. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 That lobster is just sweet. Mm-hmm. And the sabion, got a oh. little spice. And that deviled egg, it just adds a pop to the whole dish. <laughs> Good. Mm. Put in that, that dry mustard at the end, mm. finish it out nice. A little chili pepper, a little avocado, try and the wine. And the cilantro. Oh, let's try a wine, the wine with the taste of your dish. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Chef. Thanks Thank for being on the Chef's Kitchen. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. It's time to have some fun, and Harry's Seafood Grill on the waterfront is where it happens. Our creative approach to seafood is the highlight of our menu. From the oyster bar with sashimi and ceviche to award-winning crab cakes, the freshest fish, and lobsters from Maine. It's here and delicious. But the real fun happens at our bar. 50 wines by the glass, a large selection of craft beers, and a variety of small plates that makes dining fun. All this combined with the best place to meet old and new friends. Harry's Seafood Grill. Get hooked on where it happens.